Hi, Adam. This is Nyleen with Ducks Unlimited in New Mexico, and I have good news for you. You won the mule deer tag. So. In one of them, they hook forward. I, saw that. I think both of them, but I think they're closer to two. They come at you. The one, the very first video you took, you sent me yesterday, the very first yeah, of the two minute clip when, when he's looking at it. Looks like, like he has something off the base in the back. But, yeah. yeah. He's not going to shrink from it. He's got a lot going on. Yeah. If he didn't have eye guards. That hanger is bigger than I think we gave him. Yeah, he's gonna, only going to go up. So yesterday was the third. Two years ago, the 11th is the first day I seen him. The 8th is the first day I seen him last year. Yeah, he's getting early. But no, no sight of him before December or after Christmas. Really, after Christmas he's walking. Yeah. Never, never yeah. Big sage flat, kind of in that draw running to the south. Just on the back side of these yes, sir. tanks. Yes, sir. Well, he'll be fine. He's just. There's a doe up here in these trees right up here above that snowy wash. Oh, yeah. So he could be right. Yeah, sticking out. Yeah. Yeah. He could be right there.
So what we're going to do, Adam, yeah. is that road goes right underneath that tent, and then we'll be shooting from that direction. Uh -huh. We'll be shooting from that direction. Oh, there's a stop right there, Dan. There's a dink right here, close, coming our way. And there's those to his right. There he is. What's across the walk? That butt staring at us. To the right of the dead tree. Dropped him. Oh, he's, he's, he's freaking big. Oh, I know he's big. Once we come around the corner, I saw, I saw it. I saw you hit it. Did you? Okay, yeah, I can yeah, see the tips. I don't know you're going to eat this. I thought it was you guys like level. I'm like, you might be able to save it. I've seen it. It's not that far off. <laughs> you supposed to be calling me this late? I, your P, I thought your P day's over, boss. But hey, he, he was with me. I just talked to my cop and I told him it was, I told him it was a significant enough event. <laughs> <laughs> well. Anyway. Yeah. Well, thanks, buddy. I'm glad you called. I'll uh. <laughs> just, just don't be. Just, just, we just don't want you to be mean to us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's Dev. Working? Oh, There's yeah. Todd. Well, I guess this this started about June 30th. I was I was in Nevada. The last thing on my mind was hunting deer in New Mexico, and I got a voicemail that changed my year. It said you are the lucky recipient of the New Mexico raffle tag. You didn't even answer the phone at first. Wow. Well. I, it, it was just call. it was just a voicemail no i was i didn't have service when i came in oh that's what it was yeah. i came back in and uh pretty sure i hyperventilated for a while and just thought you know i've got a full schedule and i've got a bunch of hunters to book so i started calling about everybody i know called the epic crew and called dave and just was you know in shock and knew that i needed some good help on this hunt because i had a full fall and you got five months to find one special deer well you know, fast forward through the fall, had a few deer sit to me in the summer, and some of them were ghosts. Some of them we came down to look for and didn't didn't find them, but it uh, it was fun nonetheless, knowing that the the rut in this part of northern New Mexico was 
probably where something special was going to happen when it when it happened and uh fast forward to early december and uh got one text message from dave it just said call me yesterday and, uh, right yeah yesterday that's yesterday. Yeah. that's usually good when there's nothing else more it's like <laughs> call me <laughs> it'll just call me and i had my phone in my hand when i got that message and so probably within 30 seconds i've been gone a lot the last month so it was lucky i, I was home and could actually call him and he was looking at, at this deer, him and Matt, as as I called. He's trying to explain, he was breathing heavy, <laughs> you two both. <laughs> and uh, he says, he's got inlines, he's got kickers and flyers. And I says, you know, how far away? He says, like 200 yards. I says, well, hang up and get all the video you can. And I'm gonna go to church, because that'll probably be better off if I go to church before I leave. <laughs> so I went to church and got, got out and I, by then I had lots of video and we'd already knew I needed to get four tires rolling to New Mexico. So that's exactly what we did. And uh, fortunately it was just a time where all the guys in the office, Jason, Wyatt, Devin, Josh, Cash, we could break free. It was just kind of the perfect line. Devin had to cannonball run it from, you know, about eight hours north of Utah and get home. But I mean, it was just you couldn't have scripted it better, really. Uh, don't know where he was all day today till just before dark, but we found him with, we said it all day long, he's with one doe somewhere. Mm -hmm. We, you know, we saw groups of does right where he was, right where Matt and Dave left him. We knew he's with one doe because we saw groups of does with just bucks. And uh, anyway, one corner, come around and there he is with his puppy dog and his little little lady and uh luckily we didn't have to maneuver too far we got on him get it once he cleared the brush it was it was over fast so pretty special i can't thank all you guys enough this was that's exactly what i had in mind when i had a tag like this a deer like this and just because you have something in your mind doesn't mean that happens that way but this time it did and i'm grateful for it great for this chance to hunt new mexico grateful for matt and Dave and their crew, they know this area well, have history with this deer, and three years worth. Kind of knew where he probably would be showing up, and he did. And that that uh, insight and local knowledge really paid off. So appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. It's awesome. This is awesome. Congratulations. This is uh, he's awesome. Why are we? What you hear? I want to like you scream and yell. And <laughs> turn the cameras off. Let's yeah. do this. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure this was documented that I do have a knife this time. <laughs> Last time you'd have him killed, I showed up with no knife and a water bottle. That's what I was told. Prepared this time. Yeah. It's Devin Archibald here with Epic Outdoors and Epic Optics. Just out here uh, finishing up our morning uh, glassing and uh, just want to talk about optics. It's time of year out, out here in the west. We're starting to scout the summer months and uh, we don't go anywhere without good quality optics. We kind of live and die by them out here in the west. So if you're interested in getting some optics, whether it be binoculars, spotting scope, range finders, uh, we carry most major brands. We carry Vortex, Leica, Zeiss, Swarovski, and Sig Sauer. 
If you're in the market for some new optics, give us a call, 435-263-0777 for the best pricing in the industry.